Let's solve some problems here. What is the volume of a pyramid that has a rectangular base 5 feet by 5 feet and a height of 8 feet, given the volume is equal to one third length times width times height? Okay, since we're already given here the values of the base, the length and width, and also the height, which is equal to 8 feet, we just have to plug in everything to all of the values to the formula given here. So that would be volume equals one third times three feet, five feet times three feet times eight feet. So this is just equal to 120 cubic feet divided by 3. So the answer here is 40 cubic feet or feet cube. So the answer is letter C. How many inches are there in 3 and 1 third yards? Now to solve this problem, we have to convert yards to inches. So there are 36 inches in a yard. So that is 1 yard equals 36 inches. Okay, and then we convert 3 and 1 third yards to inches. So that is times 36 inches per yard. So the yard unit here cancels out. So our answer would be 3 and 1 third times 36 inches. And 3 and 1 third can be written as 10 over 3. So this is just 10, 10 over 3 times 36. So this is 360 over 3, which is just equal to 120 inches. So our answer here is letter B. What is another name for 20,706? So we can write 20,706 as 20,000 plus, okay, 20,000 plus 700 plus 6. So the answer here is letter D. What are the missing integers on this number line? So we're given here this number line. And the first box here is 1 greater than negative 5. And the second box is 1 greater than 0. Therefore, the numbers are just negative 4 and positive 1. So the answer here is letter A. Which of these is equivalent to 35 degrees Celsius, given that degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 times degrees Celsius plus 32? So since we're given the value in degrees Celsius, we just have to, and also the formula, we just have to plug in directly the value to the formula. So that is degrees Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times 35 plus 32. Okay, 35 is divisible by 5, so this is just 7. So 9 times 7 is just 63 plus 32. Therefore, this is just equivalent to 
95 degrees Fahrenheit. So the answer here is letter B. Thirteen over four is equivalent to. Okay, we're given here four choices, and all the choices here are in their decimal form. So all we have to do is we divide thirteen by four. So this is just equal to three point twenty-five. You can even use the long division, 13 divided by 4. So this is 3, 12, and then minus 1. Okay. Bring down 0. So that is 2. 8 minus 2. And then you add 0, bring down 0. This is 5. 5 times 4, 20. So 0. So the answer here is letter D.